Welcome back to the channel, guys. And today I have a very, very special guest. Okay. And he goes by Anti Jobs. Is that right? Anti Job University. Yaz real is real. You know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I wanted to bring you guys um, Anti Job today simply because I've been, you know, scouring YouTube trying to find information. And when I came across your channel, man, I was like, yo, this guy is like the god of marketing, like information. And your channel is not, you know, we're not talking about like a, a, a million subscriber channel. I watch out for gimmicks. So I don't care how much subscribers a person has. When the information is real and when it's like actually tangible and you can go out and do what the person is saying, it doesn't matter if you have two subscribers, but you have more subscribers than me to say the least. But I was attracted to, to what you were saying because I realized it was real. and. I'm about, you know, helping people to make better business decisions. And this is the whole reason why I created my YouTube channel, man. So thank you for coming on here. Um, thank you for giving Appreciate me the opportunity. Yeah. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to just capture this moment, uh, share it with people so they can learn from your wisdom and go out, make themselves a better business yeah. decision. Because at the end of the day, that's what it's about. You know, we're, we're in a time where a lot of people want to be entrepreneurs. You know, you want your own this, you want your own that. Well, guess what? It starts with information, and that's what you need. That's why we're here. Right. So we're just gonna jump right into things, man. Um, and 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 I like leading off just like you with just what do you call it uh, when people clickbait? I want I want to lead with something like that because the listeners they can get tired. Like ah, you know, let me go click on something else. <laughs> you know, so let let's go ahead and and hop right into it. This man, what what was your most successful month financially? Like like your biggest month? Like what did you hit? numbers wise you know let's start off with that and we'll work our way back down and don't mind me guys okay, i'm sipping so, some tea so don't mind me so my best month um uh, is about 250 right 250k not 250 dollars okay 250k but mind this uh i've been doing this since around 2015 so that's not going to be everybody's story and i that was actually an abnormal month Okay, so I've sold businesses. I, I've done all different types of business models. So 250K, uh, that is my best month. Okay. Um, as far as like what I want to show you guys today, I want you to know that you can go F yourself. Now, if you're a negative person, you're going to look at that wrong. If you're an entrepreneur, you'll know that I'm telling you, I want you to go free yourself. So I'm going to teach you to first position yourself to leverage others to profit recycle. And then you can maybe make $10,000, $20,000 months to start off. Everybody can't make that high. Like I said, that was a uh, an abnormal month for me. Now, so now, the now to say the least, 250000 you know, at an abnormal month is life-changing money for someone who doesn't see those type of numbers, man. So I hope you guys are now, you, you got your popcorn, you sat back down, right? You, 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 you decided not to scroll because you, you heard that, you know, that, that, that trigger, that, that triggered you in some type of way. So, you know, let's talk about opportunities. Okay. Because the, making that type of number, like, I, I, like I want to put this out there. Sometimes people say it's never too late. You can always get stuff yeah. done. Yeah. I used to believe that before I, went deeper into business. What I realized is that while in the grand scheme, it might not be too late, circumstances change and the barriers of entry could be a lot higher. For example, if you were saying, oh, I'm, I'm going to do Bitcoin, it's never going to get too late. Well, yeah, if you did it back in 2010, you, you won't be sitting here watching this right now. So yes, it's not What's too up? late, but okay, you're going to start now. Like this is what you really want to do, right? So let's yeah. talk about some opportunities, man, that people can actually take advantage of right now that maybe in the next two to three years, even four or five years, whatever, they can hit that type of month. Okay. Um, well, as I said before, I teach you to first position yourself to leverage others to profit recycle. But before I teach you your own product creation, because when I did that 250K month, that was when I actually sold off rights to one of my digital real estate. Uh, assets, right? And I had courses that I sold that month. So that's why I say it was like perfectly in sync, but I can put you in a position to do something similar to that. Okay. Um, so as far as numbers, let's talk numbers of students. Cause if you can't teach others to do what you can do or something similar in a way, then people don't feel like you really have a formula. And I'm a God fearing man. I take the Bible literally. So I only teach 
laws and formulas. Why? Because then we don't have to worry about if we're going to win. We have to worry about when we're going to win. You'll know for sure. And that will give you the strength to endure until you can get that crown. OK, so if we're talking numbers. Uh, one of my best students, he had a goal to make around sixty thousand dollars with the business model that I'm going to teach you guys today. And he made over one hundred and forty K in less than 90 days. And now he's a coach himself. He teaches like AI trading, but he still does this business model that I'm going to talk to you guys about today. So that's one of my best students, 140K in less than 90 days, no degree. You ain't got to go to college for it or nothing. Imagine that. Like you can go to your doctor and say, ha ha, I don't know as much as you, but I make as much as you. Right. So <laughs> let's go. That's no, no, that, that, that is dope. And I love the I love the energy, man. I love the, the the fact that you really take control of your thoughts and you speak it out to where people can can see that you you you're serious and you mean business. Because I mean, let's face it, right? A lot of people have information. A lot of people have something they want to sell and something that they want to get out there. But what I've noticed in business is that when somebody truly has something good, it's almost like you know you you feel a level like, hey. I might miss out on this opportunity. It's not like you're missing out on a sale. It's more so like the person is going to miss out on, on, on an opportunity. So that's the energy that I get when I'm sitting in front of you like, yo, let me talk to this guy because I don't want to miss out. Am I qualified to deal with this person? And that is what I see you put out there. And again, that is one of the reasons why I started watching your content. I mean, I might have watched, man, when I first saw you. Dude, I probably like, watched like, keep in mind, I'm in the truck sometimes. So I could be listening yeah. to your stuff for three, four hours. You know what I'm saying? So to me, it's just like, dude, how come everybody's not like, what is going on here? Like, I, I see I see so much people saying what you say. But for some reason, when you put it out there, you're putting these pieces together and it makes so much sense. So, I mean, it, it's absolutely no surprise to me that you would have a large amount of students. And how many students do you have? And when did you start teaching? Uh, um, I don't know, man. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I don't know how many students. Uh, I have multiple courses, okay? Technically, Anti-Job University, that's my platform that I'm building. It's going to be like a hybrid between Udemy and Full Sail University. I don't know if you ever heard of Full Sail University, but I always wanted to go to Full Sail University. And when I was like 19, I never had the chance because I couldn't afford to. Even after financial aid, they were still talking about some, all right, now you need to come up with nine grand, okay? So I always told myself if I became a success, I would build a school. So right now, that's what I'm doing. I'm building a, a school, an actual school, not just a course, a school. Um, it's going to start off online first because that's the genius. Well, not genius, but it's the most common sense way of doing things now. We're in 2024. If you're going to college, fixing your credit, going to get a bank loan, then getting a physical location, and then trying to get the customers you're crazy right now. No, don't do that. That's, you have the opportunity to prove the demand now. Now you can start online. You can build your trucking company online. You can build it online first. Start getting the calls coming in, the freight and all of that first. And then like if you ever needed to, for example, Airbnb, they didn't even have a, a physical headquarters for years, <laughs> but they were already in the billions before they even made like a physical place. So now that's what I'm doing with, with the school. But as far as students right now, I just released AJU private for the copy and paste uh, university, uh, the copy and paste rentals program that we're talking about today. That has like around 50 people in there. We just released that. Wow. Then I have uh, anti-job private, uh, I mean, free community. That one has almost 6,000 people in that. And during a scamdemic, I call it the scamdemic of, of Snowvit. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> we got like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of students during that for the godfather of drop servicing. If you ever looked up anything about drop servicing around that time, I positioned myself as the only to be teaching drop servicing the way that I was teaching it. Everybody else was telling you to go take some Fiverr gig, repost it at a higher price and just keep, you know, <laughs> the difference of it for yourself. I was teaching people how to make partnerships with local businesses and do high ticket drop servicing, uh, drop servicing, uh, which is service arbitrage. That's another word for service arbitrage. So basically, I would teach my students to uh, rank in Google for private jet charter. Someone would call and book a flight from Los Angeles to New Orleans for 
uh, $48,000, right? We'll get a cut of that. We don't have to actually know how to fly. We don't have to do none of that extra stuff. So if they book the flight and there's a, there's a return on that flight as well, they can make maybe like ten to $15,000 commission on that. And even if they only got one sale the entire month, right? So this is the type of stuff I was teaching, right? And right now what's real hot is party buses. So this is why if you go to my channel, Anti-Job University, you'll see all these testimonials about party buses and the students are getting their first like bookings within 24 hours. Uh, one of my top students, he put up an ad in less than six hours. He made a thousand bucks, right? Then we have another one. He made 1500 right after he created a profile on this platform. I told him to right there. So it's just that's that's what it is. So the students are making money with it, man. OK, dope, dope. I, I like the way you said that. And I'm going to break it down for those of you, you know, that we, we may be speaking to vaguely or you may feel like we're even speaking too fast. I'm going to, you know, slow, yeah. slow it down that way. You guys can really comprehend what we're saying, because, uh, you know, I, I've, I'm talking to people. And they say, hey, man, I need to come sit down with you. And I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm talking to you. I need yeah. to come sit down with you. No matter how much I'm telling them, they're using yeah. that language like they got to come sit down with me. So I'm like, okay, I get yeah. it. What it is is that they want more so of a A, B, C, D. And that they can follow sure. that, they can be successful. So let's, let's, let's paint that picture for them. So we started off, guys, you know, uh, your best month, um, yeah, Israel, was 250000 um, with a K, $250,000, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, yeah. you have students that, <clears throat> that have made a thousand on their first launch, you know, like within less than a day from what I just heard, right? So yeah, sure. now, guys, if, you know, a lot of my audience is in transportation, most of them are yeah. truck drivers thinking about getting a CDL. And the reason why I'm bringing this information in front of you guys now is, again, it goes back to what I always say make a better business decision. That's what I'm here for. So you have to know where you want to be in the next five years. You got to know. So if you say, hey, I want to drive five years and stack my money, or you want to drive and you want you know, side businesses, maybe the, the driving is just your income that you're using to invest into different businesses. Well, this is why we're in front of you because we know we can make money in a truck, but how do you take that money in a truck and, you know, fund another business that can potentially buy you your dream truck or take you out of the trucking business, whatever you want to do. Trucking is, I look at it as a gateway into a ton of different businesses because we deal with so much. So it's no mystery why I'm here. It is no mystery why you're here because your background was trucking as well. So, you know, it, 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 it leads you to this guys. And we're going to get into that. Um, but for right now, we're going to give you guys what you want to hear. And then hopefully you give us your ears to tell you, you know, what, what we would like you to hear. Right. So now let, let's break this down. Right. Let's say, I don't know anything about making money online. Okay. And I come to you. Yes. Right. And I join anti-job university because I want to make a thousand dollars in my 24 hours too. Can you break it down for me coming in the door, sitting down and talking with you, setting up whatever system that you have to making money that goes into my bank account. And we can use the example of the party buses because that is what's hot right now. Okay. So the name of the business model officially is drop service, high ticket drop service. But if you go in and look it up, you're going to see a whole bunch of people. I don't want to say they're doing it wrong, but like I was talking to him, um, you want to be the only, I'm the only option for how we're doing it, which is why people gravitate to me. Everybody else is just YouTubers. They're just teaching you how to do something they saw in somebody else's video, okay? This is not me bashing them, right? Because the Bible says, let all your ways be established, meaning proven. So if they're copying something that works and they're being successful, hey, more power to them. But I wanted to present people with something that I knew works, that I also had real world experience in. So this is what I want to show you guys, partnerships and platforms. If you came to me today, I have formulas. You don't want to guess. Just like if you're in his community right there, he already has everything laid out. You don't want to hear people that just, they're just good at this. You need formulas. Formulas and laws make it to where it's inevitable. Y'all remember the Matrix where Smith kept saying, yo, it's inevitable. Okay. So what do I mean by this? Okay. So 
Let's pretend you just got into the copy and paste rental community, which will probably be in the first pinned comment. It's only 97 bucks a month, right? Um, soon as you get in there, you're going to get access to the training, obviously, but you're also going to get the community because law has told me and formula has told me that if I just gave you the course, chances are you're not going to do it. Or you're going to have questions, more questions and all of that stuff. And if there's no community or person there to assist you, you're going to give up. You're going to see some ad on some video and go into a webinar and be into shiny object syndrome. Hell, am I speaking a language y'all know right now? Okay. So we have the training, but we also have the community. Soon as you get in, you choose a niche. Our flagship niche is party buses right now, but we also go into real estate. Not in the way that you are, you know, thinking, right? It's not just some Airbnb business and it's not real estate investing. It takes the same business model as the party buses. For example, I can show you how to get in there. You partner, remember partnerships and platforms, you partner with a realtor. Realtors are a wholesaler. They need seller leads. They need seller leads or they need contracts. We were talking about in his interview, you guys can watch his interview on my channel, right? We were talking about instead of um, uh, approaching with who you are, approach with uh, the ultimate goal of the person that you want to do business with, okay? So if I was trying to do business with a realtor, I wouldn't approach and say, hey, I want to do your marketing for you. I'm a marketing agency. No, what we do is if you're confident in your game in the first place, we'll go and get the lead and we go a step further. We'll sign the seller contract agreement with the with the, the home seller, right? Because that paper is power now. Now I can put a clause on there for reassignment. Mm. So now I have that house in my possession, not technically, but based off of the paper, the reassignment, uh, 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 you know, clause in there allows me to go and I can do a blast out to my wholesaler and realtor network and I can start a bidding auction. Like, yo, I have this house that when it's closed, it is guaranteed you to give you twenty to thirty thousand dollars. How much do you want to pay me for this piece of paper right here? So that's something that we teach inside there as well. Um, you know, and we teach you how to start a yacht rental business as well without being a broker, without having any equipment or anything like that. So this is another reason why I was attracted to uh, Winston's con content because he has different ways for you guys to get into the trucking uh, business or industry without having to have a CDL, without all the restraints that the traditional mind would think. Like, oh, if I want to be in the tr trucking business, I got to go and get my CDL. No, you don't. So it's the same way. If I told you that you can uh, you drop service private jet charters, the, the traditional mind is automatically going to think you know, I need to know somebody in the industry or I need to get a license, pilot license, go to some flight school or or get a broker's like or something. No, you don't. Partnerships platform, partnerships platforms. OK, that's that's what they'll learn. They'll learn to create a partnership with a party bus, uh, bit, you know, party bus owner. Then I'll show them a platform that they can put the irresistible offer on. The irresistible offer is based off a of formula. What is that? OK, so you want to make a bold statement or promise. OK, um, you're going to have the best time of your life on our party bus, blah, 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 whatever. <laughs> so bold statement or promise. Then you want to have the offer stack. The offer stack is a stack of things that they're going to get. Right. You know, you know what is going to create this experience because you're not selling a product or a service, ultimately you're selling a filling, especially if it's a special occasion for someone, right? You're selling a filling, even if you have a moving company, right? Because I used to do this with moving companies, right? I used to give them a free seller vacation. Like, oh, you this is your first time selling your home? You know, sometimes sentimental, you know, fillings and stuff come up and all of that. So I'll get I'll partner with a travel agency, partners, networks, partner with a traveling agency, and I'll get them a either heavily discounted uh, or in some cases free vacation. How would I do that? How would I do that? Partnerships. I'll send and I'll rank on Google because I know what the travel agency wants. So I'll rank on Google for travel agents, travel agencies. When leads come in, I'll send them to the travel agent, roll out the red carpet. They call, I call them. They're like, you're the guy that's been sending me all these uh, clients? I'm like, yes. Then I'll ask them how many more clients what I need to send you that are paying before I can win a free vacation. 
and they'll tell me that number. So now that I have that number, I connect that travel agency business to real estate. So now when someone sells their home, I can give them a free seller's vacation. <laughs> Right. So these are the things that, that I teach you. It doesn't have to get that intricate, you know, or, or complex or anything like that. But just basically you'll come in, you'll pick your niche. We recommend party bus right now because there's always a bachelor party, always somebody getting married, always uh, something to celebrate for some weird reason in Babylon. It's just a million freaking holidays over there in the United States. Um, <laughs> always a birthday. And we teach you if when you graduate and want to get to running paid ads on Facebook, you can target people with birthdays coming up. Guess when is a birthday? It's a birthday every single day. So that can give you a consistent flow of bookings. You never have to change the ad. Anytime the month changes, all you go in and you just change the month. Okay. Attention all Libras. Okay. It's not October anymore. Attention all whatever else comes after that. You know, and then, you know, I don't know all the signs. I don't do that astrology stuff, but that's it. So you have a, a evergreen working ad just constantly producing leads for you. So when the leads come in, from the platforms that I teach you guys about, you simply close them. You close them at an amount over, obviously, what your partner, your fulfillment partner is charging. That way you don't have to cut into their profits, right? And that's another thing that's different from us. Groupon does the same business model. In case you guys were wondering, you know, how do I know this works? Is there some real world? I think that was the next question. Real world examples. Groupon does this. Turo does this. Uh, um, you know, Zillow does this, uh, who else? Airbnb does this, DoorDash does this, Uber Eats, Uber does this. This is the same business model. I brought my, I bought my, um, my flight, uh, when I first left the United States, I bought it from a, a website called Cheapo Air to Mexico. That's a website. It's just a platform. They don't own any planes, but they partner with all these airlines. So anytime someone books a plane through them, they get a cut just by owning the platform. This is what I'm teaching you guys how to own the deal, right? Own the deal, right? But not have to own the work. Like you don't have to really own all of that work. I'm not saying there's no work. That'd be a lie. It's work as with anything else. But if you own the deal, you can leverage as much as possible, get as much time freedom, uh, location freedom, and financial freedom as possible. Okay. Go ahead. And and yes, I, I I do want to make sure I repeat back the key points of what you told me to prove a couple of things to the audience. Audience number one, um, you 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 got to be able to pick up what he's putting down, right? And and also to prove to you that I'm actually tracking, all right. So what I'm hearing is you come in to your community at ninety seven dollars, right? And you pick your niche that might be more comfortable to you. But you're recommending yeah. starting out with party buses because right now the trend is proving that this is lucrative. OK, so remember, guys, when I said, you know, when people say it's never too late, that's just BS. Right. That's what this conversation is right now. Right. If, if we know that party buses are hot, don't say, well, I'm going to put off, you know, doing this. I'm going to wait till I can afford to pay ninety seven dollars. What you need to do is a little <laughs> housekeeping. You need to tell yourself, okay, how much purses do I need to put off from buying? How many pairs of shoes do I need to put off from buying to invest into an opportunity right now that may change in the next five years, right? Or change in the next two years to three years. That's what you have to do. You have to make some type of sacrifice to take you know, a hold of opportunity that you have in front of your face. So even I myself have never done anything with party buses. And I must be honest. I'm not interested in one lick about a party bus, but what I am interested in is a business model with skills that are transferable. So if, I, if I'm if i not interested in party buses, maybe I'm interested in limo rentals, right? So don't mm. focus on, oh, he said party bus. I don't know nothing about that because that can be a deterrent for you because now you're challenging yourself like, oh God, what do I, it's not the what, okay? Pay attention to the skill that you're being taught. You're being taught marketing, advertisement, Google ads, Facebook ads. I don't care where you search on the internet. Those are some of the most like dominant skills that you can come across and they're transferable. Let's say you do not want to rank and, you know, be partnered up with a business. Well, you can simply change the business model and say, well, now I just want to be a lead gen agency. 
or I just simply want to, you know, work on a month to month basis or annual basis with companies to generate them a certain amount of clients every month. And I, if I close on these clients for them or if they close and I get a percentage, so you can go anywhere you want to go with this guys. And if you're still challenged and if this information still seems vague to you, I'm going to hit you with a couple of keywords right now to help you. So you can look up SMMA, right? SMMA social media marketing agency. You can look up Google ads. You can look up Facebook ads. You can look up SEO ranking yeah. up those things because what we're saying to some degree, if you're looking for a more simpler explanation, go talk to a open heart surgeon and say, Hey, can you explain to me what you do? Let's see how far you get with that, right? Like, like you want me to explain open heart surgery to you, right? Like, so, so you want me to explain how this works, okay? I may say things that you won't understand, right? So if, if, if you're just intimidated, like most people are, this is why everybody's not out here doing this. And this is why this is for a certain type of individual, because the language and what we're putting in front of you, you may say, oh, you know, I, I, it's too much. I, I know guys, I know, I know guys I can call right now. They want to make a decision in their lives to make more money. But when you say these words to them, they're like, oh, man, I don't really know. If that's how you thought, you would have never met your wife. Okay. Sometimes you got to yeah. jump out there and you got to shoot your shot. And if you, if you get rejected, you get rejected. If it works, you know, you can say, man, I'm so happy I, I took my shot. That's, that's how I got married, right? I saw this beautiful girl and I didn't understand <laughs> what I was seeing. She was so beautiful. And I told myself, I will never get that girl. She's not going to respond back to me and I'm going to get turned down. But I knew that, man, if I walk out of here and I don't speak to her, I cannot live with myself. So again, pl okay. apl apply that here. You're hearing this. You don't, you feel like you're going to get rejected. Shoot your shot. Take the freaking information because you never wow. know. Like take the information, join. And if it works for you, it works. If it doesn't work for you, then it just did not work. But life and business does not come without taking risk. And if you don't take any risk, you'll never have anything to learn from. And that's my problem with people. I'm not into, you know, I'm not even into building people as much anymore because by the time you build people, they have someone to blame, right? I'm not into building people. What I'm into building yeah. is what you've already started, right? So if you're watching, if you're still listening, that means you've already built something. So now you come to me and you come to uh, Israel here as the architects, right? You say, Hey, here's my blueprint. Here's what I want to do. I want to get it. I, I want to get out the truck. I want to learn a new skill. I'm not as savvy. And we can say, okay, great. This is for you. Come on in. Mm -hmm. We've got you. Help you get to the next level. And, and it's the same thing. I, 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 try to, I try to tread lightly, but now I realize, like, okay, it doesn't matter how fast I tread. If someone's wanting an opportunity, they're going to take the opportunity, no matter how fast or slow. I may not be even speaking fast enough for some people. Get to the point. Get to when I'm ready, right? So you can never like truly give everybody what they want, right? So guys, I can't say it in another way to simplify it. What you're doing is if you're thinking about getting a CDL, if you have a CDL, if you've been driving for 25 years and you want something else to do, if you feel like you have a knowledge barrier and you just can't learn, whatever situation you're in, whatever you're thinking in your mind right now, take that, put it to the side, right? Humble yourself down because a lot of times there's a level of, I know it all. So therefore, whatever, right? I'm humbling myself because everything you're saying, I'm learning. And, and, and give yourself an opportunity to cross over into some waters that you feel like may be too deep or, or you may have some sort of understanding and this may be right down your alley. But some key yeah. points that are going to work for everyone is scalability. Number one, you can scale this to the moon, right? Number two, um, you get a great work-life balance because right now you're not even in the US, you're in Panama, right? Panama, yeah. So you can do this from anywhere. And I mean, think about those around you. Think about, you know, I, I wish I could turn everybody into me, around me into truck drivers, but I wouldn't want to do that because I don't want that for everybody. <laughs> so, but I, but yeah. having some type of skill that I can teach my daughters, teach my little cousins and they can literally yeah. go out there and help other business owners is essentially a superpower. So I really look at what you do as a superpower that I want for myself. I want for other people. So that is why we're sitting here. Um, and guys, what I'm going to do now is I, I think you've, you guys have heard, you know, the, the key points that you need, right? 
So, and that was the deal. That was the deal. I'm going to give you what you need up front. So you heard the numbers, you heard who this is for, because, you know, and, and, and just to kind of make this clear, this is not a sales pitch for, hey, go join anti job in university. What this is essentially is me extending to you my community and my resources, because I could have been selfish and said, man, you know what? I don't want everybody to see this because now, you know, I can't just go off and make all this money for myself. But the difference here is I know how much viewers I have. Okay. I have a small audience, right? So maybe if I had like 30 million people, I'm, I'm going to say, you know what, Israel, let's not do this because, you know, I, I really am not interested in, 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 I'm already getting paid from this YouTube thing, man. I, I don't really want to put all this good information out here, but guys, this is about quality, not quantity. Okay. So if there's one person that this, that is affected by this information and it changes you, I did my job. Okay. Because I, I get that those phone calls and I get those comments. A lot of times people say, Hey man, you changed my life. You said this and I made a decision based on what you said. Okay. So I'm going to give you guys the yeah. opportunity, man, uh, you know, pause this video, get click out of it, go to, you know, go to the link that I'm going to put in description and go check it out. Just go check it out. You've heard everything you needed to hear. Go check it out. Okay. But if you're, if you're still in here, if you, if you came back or whatever, cause you can pause the video, or whatever guys, you know, at this point in the conversation, you know, we're going to change the tempo a little bit. Um, if you guys have any more questions, feel free to subscribe to anti job university, feel free to reach out. He definitely responded back to me. That's how we got here. And, or feel free to ask me some questions. If you trust me, if you trust the information I've been saying and you, you like, yo, I've been watching you, you're an upstanding guy. Question me about anti-job university like yo winston do you really trust this guy and my answer is going to be yes i really trust him because he's here in front of you guys so it, it's not a matter of trust it's not a matter of um is this going to work you're getting a skill that is beyond explanation i mean all businesses run off of advertisement guys you would never be aware of any business unless they had someone there making you aware of their business which is mr google mr facebook mr ad spin all right so that's what we're talking about, skills that you can build yeah. up on. And I want to yield here for a second. Anything that you that, that's in your mind and you want to talk about, you have the floor to talk about it. Um, you know, there there is it's a it's a Sunday, guys. You know, my, my wife just brought me some coffee in the room. So I know that's her way of like, when are you when are you gonna be done? When are you gonna be done? But I can I give you these <laughs> last couple of minutes here, man. Anything you wanna Listen, say? <laughs> yeah, anything you wanna say, you got it. My wife gave me a hint. She just came in there with some aluminum foil, yeah. letting me know she put it in my food. Yeah, that's how I got this coffee because she brought it in. You know what I mean? And I'm like, I'm looking like, uh, uh, okay. So, so guys, we're, we're gonna have some fun. You know, maybe we can do like a live or something and invite some more people on. But yeah. go ahead and take these 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 minutes, man, and just you know say whatever you you want to say. You know, they're ready. They're listening. I'm listening to. Hey, right, I'm a lamb back off of a few things. I don't eat pork, so I'm a lamb back off of a few things uh, that Winston was talking about. Uh, you guys watching this right now, some of you guys are experienced truckers um, or you're thinking about getting into trucking. Um, maybe you have no urge of getting into real estate or in a party bus. Let, let me make this clear. This, this is why we call it copy and paste rentals because it's not static with any niche or, or industry. It's a formula, right? So it can literally be, I, I use the same thing. I started it off with limos. Then I did it with uh, 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 real estate. Then I did it with a moving company. So it's, it's, it's interchangeable, right? It's interchangeable. It's not for just party. I don't want to be like, oh, well, I don't like party. But no, 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 no. So second of all, there's simplicity in Christ. So if it confused any of you guys, maybe I was talking too fast at the beginning. I apologize. My sincerest apologies. Right. So what I'll do is this it is is way easier to learn when we have familiarities. I think I said that word. Right. Um, so I'll give examples. I'm sure you guys have traveled before somewhere before you had to have a place to stay. Some of you guys might have booked an Airbnb. OK, so Airbnb is just a couple guys who created a website. The website is the platform. Then he made those partnerships. Partnerships with who? People that have hotels or people that have homes. Why? Because they didn't want to go out and buy a whole bunch of homes and spend a lot of money in order to start making some money, right? 
So instead, they'll leverage other people's homes. And all they did were were match them. They played the matching game. They're matching people that have vacancies with people who need a place to rent. Now, let's switch that out. We go to car rentals. We're matching people who want to make some money off their cars, like Toro, with somebody who needs to rent the car. Maybe they want to go out of town or they, they need to rent a car so they can drive for Uber. Speaking of Uber, Uber does not own any cars, but they match people that need to make money with cars with people that need a ride. So you're literally just becoming a matchmaker. And when how I teach you to do it, you control the supply, meaning you learn how to get the jobs, the leads, and you control the demand. OK, so you have this. I mean, the demand is the leads and everything. The supply is the partners that will have the cars, the trucks, all of that. So this, this is a proven business model that one way or another you've participated in already, maybe unaware. You've ordered from DoorDash. DoorDash is not a restaurant, but they delivered you food, right? So, <laughs> right, Instacart. Maybe like I send my mama. My mom lives in the U.S. I send her groceries through Instacart, <laughs> right? That's not a grocery store, but they they're worth as much as a, a grocery store chain. Uber is worth more than any taxi company out there. Airbnb is worth more than any hotel chain. Right. Price line is worth more than any airline and it's just a website. So I'm teaching you how to control the supply and the demand through partnerships and fulfillment. The fulfillment you don't even have to do. So you're blessing these partners, the local businesses, and you're blessing the people that needed the service provided to them. So hopefully that was simplified. Oh, that was. Um, and, oh, sorry. No, no. You go ahead. You go ahead. OK, so I understand he has the ride out into the sunset. And I got to eat whatever she just put in, in up for me. So yeah. I'm going to make this quick with you guys because I want you guys to take action. There is no cash in without action. I want you to write that down. You understand? Write it. There is no cash in without action. It's just not. You're not just going to hear something awesome and then it just magically make you money. Stop playing lotteries because it's messing up your mind. It's, it's, help, it's, it's making you lose your common sense. OK, there is no cash in without action. So you find the good opportunity that's proven. The Bible says, let all your ways be established, meaning don't reinvent the wheel. If it works, take it, use it. Okay. So this business model works. It's proven, right? And then you apply action to it because an idea, you know, uh, 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 hold on, a plan without action is just an idea, right? So, so we're like, oh, that's a good idea. That Yasriel David dude was talking some awesome stuff. That's cool. So right now you guys just like, oh, that's an idea. But you need to make a plan. You need to apply action to it. You can do that in the first pin comment. It's only 97 bucks, guys. I sold the Godfather of Drop Servicing, which was the precursor to this, uh, for $2,000 during the scamdemic. If people were buying this back when we were running around with masks like maniacs and all of that, then you know what it's worth. And I've broken it down because it has a community now and I niched it, niched it, niched it so it could be more simplified. So it's only $97. OK. All right. So uh, what made me get into this type of business in the first place? What made me get into this business in the first place was I was doing lead generation as a marketing agency. And I ran into some races in Wisconsin, not Wisconsin, but close to it. Freaking. Uh, uh, what is it called? Wick with Wichita. Jesus, my wife, that's my wife. <laughs> Wichita, right? So like I, I was the king of SEO, very prideful, which is a bad thing in the scriptures, right? I was the king, right? So I'm like, yo, whoever I reach out to need my SEO services, right? So, <laughs> well, there's some people in the world that don't care how much money you can make them. They just don't want to do business with you, right? So I literally had some guys in Wichita say, I believe your business. My, I know it works. I get it. Yeah. And I was like, well, well what's the problem? And he was like, well, you want to know the truth? Or... And I was like, yeah. Well, he said, I just don't want to get that much money to it. I ain't going to say the N word on here. And it infuriated me. So this is when, remember when Winston earlier was talking about this marketing and advertising thing is a superpower? Yes, it definitely is. With great power comes great responsibility. But I didn't want to hear that, though. You hear me? So what happened 
was I decided, hmm, because we cut the employee thing. We leave the traditional nine to five job, but then we go and be an employee of a business owner again. And we think just because we know how to drive the leads and all of that, we're a business owner. No, 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 no. If they can call me and say, yo, where's my results? And where is all this? I'm still a freaking employee. So I, I, didn't, I didn't like that. I didn't like that. So I was like, why don't I take these skills and just build in Wichita? I didn't have any vehicles. I didn't have any of that. So that's the site that I was talking about where I said I flipped it, right? Okay. Like I ranked everywhere in Wichita for all the limousine terms, everyone. And I pushed everybody all the way to page two and three where they would die and go out of business because he and I was. I was pissed with the racism. Like I said, I'm not like that anymore. God won't allow me to be like that anymore. But that's where it started at, where I started saying, well, how don't I, why don't I just start marketing for myself then? Right. So I, I ranked in Wichita, everything, like all the keywords. I was like ranking every damn thing, spending all my money doing it. Right. I ranked in Chicago. I ranked in a uh, thousand. I, uh, th- I almost said thousand Iowa, <laughs> thousand Oaks, California, Sherman Oaks, California, the DFW area down there in Texas, and uh, uh, Paramount, and a couple other places in freaking California. I blanketed, blanketed. So out of nowhere, I took this, di- and that's another reason why a digital business, an online business, like it can scale and 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 value like way faster than a physical business can. Like within a year's time, it was worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. You understand? Just the asset, the digital assets. And anyway, but that's where it started at, where I started taking it, uh, my marketing skills and then started building my own assets for my own benefit. And I'm like, okay, well, the lead still got to go somewhere because I don't have any vehicle. So what I did was I partnered with a few cool people from the areas that I was dominating in. And those were the people that I would pass off the jobs to. And I would get my cut from that. And that burst high ticket drop servicing. So that's how this all started. y'all. That's, that's how this all started right there. It came from a horrible place, but it became something beautiful. So God brings you through something so that you can, you know. <laughs> okay, so some potential struggles, though. I want to talk about some potential struggles that you guys might face when you sign up today and copy and paste rentals. Um, a potential struggle could be procrastination. I'm going to say something that you guys are probably not going to like. Some of you guys might be sensitive from this new generation, but procrastination and hesitation are both the fathers of failure. So they're bisexual, right? (laughs) Procrastination and hesitation are both the fathers of failure. You can get into a course, but even myself have been guilty of this in in uh, in the past where I'll buy a course and I'll be like, okay, I'm gonna get to it this weekend. And it'll just be sitting somewhere, you know, like it'll just be sitting somewhere. And then you will forget all about it and end up almost buying it twice. You'd be like, hold on, don't I got this already? Because (laughs) you know what I'm talking about, right? So you have to get straight to it. So as soon as you get in there, we help you with that. We we send you everything you need. We start messaging you. We're going to annoy the hell out of you just to make sure that you are making moves. Uh, We do mind transfer sessions. So this is as close to the matrix as it gets where you can plug yourself. So, uh, you know, you get to leverage my knowledge. So we have these sessions where all of the books, all of the resources that I've ever had to shape the way that I think and how I uh, how I build, we transfer those to you through these sessions as well. And we have Q&A sessions every couple of days as well. So we make sure there's none of the like, OK, well, I just don't know what to do next. We get rid of all of that. OK, so but procrastination is a struggle with anything you're doing. So you'll definitely try to procrastinate and right just, now. You're hype. Go ahead. And just to ask a, a question there um, so I can even understand, too. Um, so when they come in, they deal with you directly and um, you, or, or how to yeah, in some cases, customer support. Uh, sometimes it's me. Sometimes it's my wife or sometimes it's the VA. But. Like with the Q&A sessions, that'll be me like once a week. And then the mind transfer session, that'll be me. No, that's right? good. That's good. So, Simply because some yeah. communities, you know. But that's you- only, let me be very clear because I'm a very, very, I'm obsessed with leverage. And I always tell people that you can't be the CEO if you're still doing the janitor's job. 
And right now, that is the janitor's job. So this, is, I made it very clear. This is my last year doing all that personal coaching stuff. Not because I don't care about you guys. It's because how can I actually build the school if I'm one of the freaking teachers still all in there, right? That's like, true. like you don't see the superintendent coming in there and teaching your maths classes or anything like that, right? Not in real life. So I have to exit that part this year. So for you guys that are st- interested. This is the last year that I will be doing personal coaching, being in the communities, but I will be replacing myself with people that have real world experience uh, in their industries and their, and their, you know, what they're, what they special in and specialize in and everything like that. So yes, when you get in there right now, you will get like a lot of attention from me. Right. But that's just for this year. Okay. That's why it's 97 bucks. Uh, it'll probably be cheaper later. No, that's good. Okay. I, I so definitely wanted to. You have- yeah, I, I wanted to ask that question because you know sometimes you get into you know courses and classes and stuff like that, and you can't necessarily talk with the head person. So it's re- really good, guys, that you can get get a hold of you. And uh, this is something that I personally um, want to join and will be joining myself, just to make that clear. So um, another question that popped into my mind is you're actually teaching, even though it's a copy and paste, are you actually teaching how to do SEO, uh, Google and Facebook ads as well? We give you access to all of that training. I have so many courses. That's another thing. Oh, (laughs) man, thank you. Jesus. Like I'm trying to rush off of here that I forgot all about it. Every Monday, now this might be the push over the edge for some of you. Every Monday, I release Another one of my courses that I've sold for thousands into the community at zero cost. Boom. All right. There's a Deontay Wilder one right there. You hear me? So every month. So, yes, we have uh, the Godfather drop servicing in the community. If you're in the community, you have access to that instantly. You have Money Highways Ranking Bank SEO course where I teach you how to get celebrity SEO clients if you want them, you know, if you want a client, right? I don't like clients anymore, but I show you how I've been able to achieve SEO clients that are of the celebrity status, right? So you get access to that. You get the seven days to 700 pay per call course where I teach you how to do it's kind of like CPA marketing cost per acquisition, lead generation. There's a whole bunch of words for it, but you get paid per call basically. So like if a doctor uh, needed uh, clients to, I mean, they needed patients coming in, you would decide on a certain amount of money to generate phone calls for them because if they can get them on the phone, then they know that they'll be able to get them to book an, uh, an appointment with them or something like that. So let's say if it's a plastic surgeon, you can charge a plastic surgeon between 250 to 750 for a phone call that is over three minutes. Why? If it's over three minutes, chances are they book them, right? So they, 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 they're going to make the money from it, right? So paper call, that's a real easy business model to make money from. And like you said, the easy thing, you know, but if you're going to apply action to it, okay, there's a difference between simple and easy. Simple means it has a minimal amount of steps to it, right? There's not that complex. Easy means it's near effortless, right? It doesn't take as much energy to do. So I don't use the easy as much unless I mean it. Paper call is literally near, near, as near too effortless as you can get. Because as I said before, is literally platforms that you can put your irresistible offer on. People w- will find that offer and they'll call. And since you already set up that partnership with that plastic surgeon or whoever it is that you deal with, when they call, you get you get paid, right? So, all right. Uh, another question? Did you have another question? No, no, no. That, 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 that was the questions that was in my mind that I wanted to know. And again, this is for me that I'm asking for. So if, if that was in your mind, yeah. if you're listening and you're, you're thinking what I'm <laughs> thinking too, because, you know, the main reason why I, you know, have you in front of my audience, guys, is because, and just, just I just want to be really clear because a lot of people, when they hear, you know, a course or when they hear, you know, information yeah. being thrown around that, that wants to be sold, they automatically, you know, just, just kind of shut down. This is about making better business decisions. And this is what my platform is about. So if you were that guy that was thinking about starting a trucking business and you have $20,000 that you saved up for over five years and you're wanting to know, is this a good investment for me to 
buy my truck Winston and hit the road? Absolutely not. Simply because we're in a really, really bad time right now. And I always try to help you guys to leverage your credit. And I always try to teach you buy a truck cash. Dude, I spent $5,000 on a truck that made me like 200000 last year. So please understand yeah. that I want you guys to save as, as much money as possible and you know make as much money as you possibly can. And that doesn't always come in the same package every time. So this is a package that you may not recognize. So if, like I said, if you're that guy thinking about spending your 20 grand, I would say, dude, if you could spend $97 to potentially make three times as much, I would say try this out, right? But it's not comparable to spending 20 grand on a truck that once you buy it, it's yours. Once you hit that road, it's yours. I, I do stick with the same things and I, and I will not change off of that. I would say instead of spending 20K, dude, leverage your credit and buy a trucking business. I would say that that's, that's right. better. Save your, your 20K. Leverage your credit, go buy yourself a trucking business and hire somebody to run it that, that that may know what they're doing. Make sure it comes with some dedicated lanes or make sure it comes with some government contract that's going to last for three to five years and you bought into it early, right? But don't go out and try to say, well, I want my own thing, so I, I'm going to go do it because sometimes having your own means making less, believe it or not. like Everybody that has, has their own doesn't mean that they're making a lot. Sometimes you can have your own and you're making $1,500 a week, but you got your own, right? Is it really worth it, right? So that's what this is about, guys. And I just really wanted to throw that in there really quick for those that may be listening, like, uh, you're on the fence about it. Well, now now you see, you know, what side of the fence you should rock on, right? Yeah. Um, he made a good point, guys. Uh, so check this out. There's a guy named Myron Golden. Yeah, I should have heard of him. I'm pretty sure you have. Um, he gives an example of uh like a seed a tree and how we don't see what's happening under the surface in order for that tree to start growing towards the sun like when we're going into entrepreneurship all we're looking at is the part where the tree is already bearing fruit and like sprouting up towards the sun but what he was talking about is it had to grow downward first it had to like tear down and grow downward first, like the roots come out of it first. And then it's the other part starts growing towards the sun, the part that you see, the one the part with the fruits and all of that. So like he said, like if you're going to be a business owner, sometimes you might start making less. Like, for example, the moment that I quit my nine to five job in 2014, I went broke. I was broke like immediately. I had to figure out how to do this business stuff. So for a moment, you might be making less than what you were making at the nine to five job. But the slave mind will try to get you to go back. Don't fall for it. In the Bible, when uh, Moses freed the uh, the Israelites from the Egyptians and, and they were in the wilderness and they hadn't made it to the promised land yet, they were sitting there murmuring, talking about, man, he, he didn't brought us all the way out here just to freaking die or, or just to eat this. I'm tired of eating manna and, and all of this extra stuff. <laughs> well, we got treated better by the Egyptian in slavery. Did you hear that mindset? That's a, that's a crazy slave mindset. And so it's so unfortunate that a lot of us have it. So you'll quit that job. You woke up. You were unplugged from the matrix. You, you'll quit that job because you, for a moment, you were in your right mind. But as soon as it get hard or you start running into some struggles, you'll fall back to sleep again. And you're like, you know what, man, uh, maybe I should, you know, Go back to work. It wasn't that difficult when I'm no, 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 no. If you make it out of the captivity, you keep walking towards the promised land. Guess what? In that wilderness, it's going to be like poisonous snakes. It's going to be scorpions, all type of stuff. Did you know that God did not let them into the promised land for 40 years because they couldn't change that slave mindset? So he made they were only a mile away from the promised land. Imagine that. So he had them walking in circles. This is you right now. When you're in this state where you can't make a decision of what you want to do. Do I want to be a business owner or do I be an entrepreneur? I know that, I mean, uh, do I want to be an employee or do I want to be an entrepreneur? I know that being an employee is not going to allow me to do what God told me to do. He says a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. Inheritance is land, assets, and money on top of a God, right? You, your, their, your employer is not going to sign over his business to your children. He's not. But you get caught in this wilderness between, well, being an entrepreneur isn't for everybody. 
Some people are just meant to have a job. No, 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 no. God didn't mean for you to be a slave to anybody. No, that's not the, that's not find it in the Bible for me, please. Right. So, guys, once you make up your mind that you really want to be an entrepreneur, whether it's to do the trucking business or whether it's to get into copy and paste rentals today or whether it's to do both, you need to just make the decision. And when you come up against those scorpions or those struggles or those the the mindsets that make it like, oh, this is kind of a little difficult. Should I keep going? You walk right past that crap. And you step into that promised land. The promised land is representative of time freedom, location freedom, and financial freedom. So uh, that's that's all I wanted to say. Um, you'll get support, as he he said before. You can find me on Anti Job University, the channel. If you want to get into the uh, the community, copy and paste rentals community, or the AJU private community, where we release a new course every single Monday. Right. Where we do mind transfer sessions, you take proven entrepreneurs and transfer their experience and their mindset to you. Q&A. So you're never stuck. You have the access. There is no cash in without action. You want to say anything? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, you have a ton of value. And as a consumer myself and, you know, as you know, just a person that tries to offer value as well. I, you know, I do want to say I appreciate you. Um, because you, you don't really have to be out here showing people what you do, how you've made your money. And it's a choice that you're making to do this. So I don't want people to confuse you with some type of salesman that has something to offer. This is not what this is, guys. Um, he's a family man just like me. He has three children just like me. And it's something about family men that kind of cut us a little different because we we we've we've known what it meant to build and you know have loyalty so when we're dealing with people it's not i'm, I'm not trying to paint a picture that single people do it differently right i'm, I'm not trying to paint that type of picture because we have the andrew tates you know of the world but, but what i am saying is that this is different you know this is different when we're we're, we're speaking because we're coming off of the fact that you know we're building family we're helping people to develop identity so that's the edge that you will get from us, man. But, you know, with everything being said, guys, make sure you click and subscribe and hit that bell notification to Anti-Job University. If you don't feel like, you know, I want to sign up, don't sign up right away. Check out his content just like I did. Watch every video. Go. I mean, the guy has so much videos. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, go watch the content, man. If you, if you want to get it for free, if you're the, if you're that type of person that no, I'm gonna get this for free. Okay, well, go watch the content and and get it for free. And once you get it for free, Can I cut in real quick? go ahead. Okay, he said something a, a second ago. He said it's not like I'm bringing this salesman on here. Okay, as much as I don't like the term, we're all salespeople. Um, but what I will say and agree to is the free. Okay. <laughs> the free. There is years worth of content on my channel, guys. You can do your own mind transfer sessions. You can just binge watch it and, and pretty much know everything I know. What I believe courses are pretty much is just organization. I love when a person will tell you, man, I, I could have I could have bought, uh, I could have watched, I could have found this on YouTube. Keyword found. Do you know how many years I had to hashtag found all of that and then apply it in real life to gain the experience, which gave me the wisdom to be able to put it out as content? So if you're already in your thirties, do you really want to go through another five to 10 years of finding it on YouTube and then trying to scrape it together and put it into some type of like structure way of having a dedicated way of building your income passive. That's what courses are. Most of them, the ones that are valuable, they're supposed to give you a point A to point B. So you don't have to go and find it for free on your own. So what you're paying for is structure, organization, and if they care about you, some type of, you know, assistance, right? So back in the day when I was looking for coaches and stuff, it wasn't cool. 
everybody thought that anything that you bought online was a scam. So all of the gurus that were making money and stuff, they were in hiding. You couldn't get it like how you guys could get it now. So you better take advantage. Back in the, it was no Andrew Taze. It wasn't anybody that made a video back then. Like, ah, oh, oh, <laughs> there's a scam. So anybody that was really making money, yeah. they were keeping it to themselves. So I had to figure this out myself. You guys don't have to figure it out yourself anymore. Just, that was cool. The guru. And, and just to right? add, and just to add to that, because you know, I, I had that mental shift where I had to realize, like, I have information. How do I put it out there, and you know, have people realize that it's not a scam, right? So the the way I yeah. put it is very very simple, guys. Go get it for free first. If that's you, go get it for free first. Yeah. What that means and what that looks like real time is if this information interests you, go to his channel, watch it all, get it all in. I mean, take as much as you can. And at the point where you realize like, okay, I got it and it's free. And you realize I still haven't made money from it. Now you're going to say, okay, you know what? Let me, I got it for free, but it hasn't translated into currency. How do I get this to translate into currency? That is what we're sitting here telling you because as much skills as I've gotten for free, if if I want to make true money out of it, then I have to literally find the next step. And the next step is partnering up. Next step is taking some type of action. So that's what this is. And I'm going to be one of the first ones. I'm a, I'm going to actually give you a call. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go downstairs first because my wife is probably, you know, yeah, on, her, yeah, on right. her last minute right now wondering where I'm at. Right. Yeah. So I'm going to go downstairs and, we're, we're you know, we're going to enjoy the rest of the day. But I'm actually going to yeah. call you myself, man. And, and I do want your guidance. I want the coaching myself because guess what? There's a ton of things I want to learn and I'm not about to go scour no more of your videos. <laughs> Count me in as a student. I've gotten enough for free. I know how to do it, but you know, that that's not enough for me, man. I, I literally want to, you know, have you my network, sit down, learn from you. I don't care, you know, how, how long I, I do want the last couple of years, the last 10 years of what you've done. I want to experience it firsthand, man. So with that being said, thank you for coming on here. Thank you for, you know, blessing my audience with the information. Uh, thank you guys for sticking around to the end of this video and make sure you comment, like, subscribe so I can continue doing this. Blow up, you know, the comment section, share this video, get it out to your friends and comment. If you got something out of just watching, just say, hey, man, thank you for posting the video. That way YouTube can recognize me and help me to continue to sit in front of you guys and be able to do what I enjoy uh, doing. And that's all I have, man. Um, thank you. Everything will be down below in the description. If I miss anything, ask for it. Hey, Winston, you didn't tag this. Okay. Sorry, man. Here you go. So I'm not going to be, I'm not going to say anything else, man. That That is it, man. And um, thank you guys. Let me, let me end it off real quick. Let me end it off real quick. Okay. Subscribe to his channel. Okay. If you're just watching it, that you guys don't be stingy, right? It's a lot of bull crap. I'm pretty sure you subscribe to Mr. Beast or somebody like that. Subscribe to his channel. It, it takes a lot. Believe it or not, this is not going live on Facebook and talking about what sandwich you ate for lunch. It takes a lot for people like Winston and I to put this helpful information together so that you guys, th those of you that are actually going to do something with it, can change your lives. But like he was talking about, it's free content on my channel. Most of the people in my paid stuff are people that made money from the stuff that they were just watching on my channel. So yes, you can binge watch. Now, those of you who know you need a coach, there's a scripture I want you to go and look up. The scripture says, before you take action, first seek wise counsel. So if you thought coaches was not supposed to be a thing, it literally says, before you take action, first seek wise counsel. So get the coaching from Winston when he offers it. Get the coaching from me. This is my last year. All right. Love you guys. Shalom. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.